fuck? You just started, man. Hello and welcome to the Sunland Fulham Watch Along. I'm on for the Markham, and today we have Darvlar, DJ, Hello. and Jacob on Hello. the stream. Oh, We've you been... hit 800 subscribers. Yeah, I hit that yesterday, man. I was well chuffed. Hog, Hog champ. Um, yeah, over 800, 200 away from the 1K mark, which is fucking insane. It's been a really good year on YouTube for me. Um, and I like loads of people will be like, oh, shit, 800, well, baby, baby, baby numbers, but. It's, it's, You've grown a lot quicker yeah. on here than you have on Twitch. And that's why I like it. So, uh, we before we started, by the way, um, we just had a little bit of a joke yeah, that we played on was, Jacob. Maybe spot on, mate. Because we were trying to work out who uh, Tottenham were playing this afternoon. And... I'm depressed. <laughs> Dob after the Preston joke. Greetings, Mike. How we doing? From Mr. and Mrs. Farkin and the whole Farkin family. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I'm going to use Farkin in my pub quiz names now. <laughs> um, that, yeah. So there is actually some um, championship games that are happening today at the same time. So our league position is not guaranteed to stay where it is. Um, you have, I think it's mainly just the West Brom game that does impact our league position today um, because Corbin. We're playing as well. Yeah, but Berra are already above us. Yeah. And Berra and Watford and Berra and Watford are already above us. That doesn't impact us going down. Hull are too far away. QPR might affect us. Um Coventry, Huddersfield. I think Coventry might affect us as well. So we'll keep an eye on those games. Um and and see what happens there. Coventry are oh no, Coventry are miles away. I thought they were like within two points of us. Six. Yeah, okay. QPR are Three points away, but the goal difference is massively away from it. So actually, yeah, not, none of the games that are taking place today will impact us. It's the um, West Brom game tomorrow. God, imagine Middles were back in the Premier League. No, it's not, it's not West Brom. Which, who's, which game affects us? I, I worked it out the other day and I forgot now. Let me check. I've got to see on football. Middles, Middlesbrough Watford doesn't affect us. Luton Town Cardiff? Luton Town? Do Luton Town affect us? No. Well, the Preston games yes, been postponed it... against Coventry. Okay, so the, been... yeah. so the what the Watford, Middlesbrough, and Luton Town games they will affect us in the like the gap we've got to climb above. But beyond yeah. that, I think our league position is guaranteed to be ninth from the end of this I, weekend I can as see well. Watford getting a surprise against Middlesbrough. I can Ooh. see that I, the best result for us on that one would be a draw or a Watford win because. Yeah. But they've, they've done well ever since beginning of the season, haven't they, Watford? Just a bit, just a bit. Well, we're who Macum's here saying hello, and he's going for a 2 1 Sun and win. Uh, did we see our predictions last night for this game? Yeah. Yeah. 1 0. One, I went 1 0. Dog went 1 0. I said 2 1 Sunland. 2 1 Sunland. So there's two 2 1s. And DJ said. I think he's. Didn't he say 3 1 Sunland? He did. Right. Which makes me really, 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 really nervous. Because... Which makes me want to think, what the fuck was he smoking? No, because he said, um, every time DJ says we're going to win, we lose. And every time he says we're going to lose, we win. So <laughs> DJ, just start saying we're going to lose and we'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Middle finger to the universe. I wonder if this oh, comes up. Some parcels are seven stops away. I want to see if this works. Uh, there we go. Spurs are playing, Jacob. Okay, now, man. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it dead. Kill his drug dead. Um, Mike saying 1 0 to Sunderland as well. Ooh. Uh, so... if anybody in the chat can tell us who Spurs are, Spurs are playing, please, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> um, so I am struggling to find a visual um, coverage of this game because it's the FA Cup. I have the audio coverage uh, ready in the background. If that had been a Premier League game, so we can we can listen to the game live. We can look at the stats live. But I am going to be watching the final score, so it'll be more watching all of the other games at the same time. Um, with that on mute, and I might pop it up occasionally on 
on uh, on the video if uh, Sunderland score or if there's goals in the Sunderland game, then we can we can see that action live as well. So we have got some kind of watching of the game happening, but we're going to be heavily reliant on audio commentary. So the Gary Bennett sighs are uh, going to be really really loud today. I think. <laughs> oh, Sunderland posted at one bit. Uh... About of Sunderland players who've been at both Sunderland and Fulham, and there's Kieran Richardson, yeah, Darren Ben, Darren Ben, Madger. Um, oh, who else? There's I can't remember, I don't know this third Madger. one. Is it Mike? Madger. There's Madger. Mm -hmm. and a few. Hey, I found a Fulham game. Come on, can you post the link, mate? If that's all right, I've got it on. No, I've got it on the fire stick. Got you. Oh, okay, fair enough. God, the outside of Fulham Stadium actually kind of looks. Oh right. Adam is going for a two-one win. Fuck the mags. <laughs> um, hoping for a good result. What's your opinion on the new signings? Sorry for scoffing my face while that came through. Um, hmm. I think they're showing a good sign of um for us, a good bit of promise. Jacob, DJ, oh, what's your opinions on the signings? We did go over it quite a bit last night, but um, yeah. What's your thoughts? I, I don't know really much about the, the signings, to be quite honest with you. I can't really comment on how good they are because I don't know really enough about them. But uh, Anth, have you got ESPN? I do not have ESPN. Ah, shit. Don't say it's on there. Mm. ESPN here in America. Adam, join the call. We can watch your stream. <laughs> Same game not televised, just the middles for a Watford match live. Oh, that's shit. Unlucky. Chat, say I for Sunderland win. Let me pin that one. Do you, not think, do you not think we should be in a world like what, like America is and things like that, where every football match is available to watch? Every match. Yes, I do. Um, I do. Yeah, even if you had to pay a, a, a small fee or something like that, but every match should be available to watch. The the reason I'm saying yes to that, it's um, it's it doesn't affect yeah, ticket sales. Anything. It doesn't. People who want to go to the game are going to the game. As simple yeah, as that. Course, yeah. You're not going to be detracted from coming to um, the stadium alike because you're. I was in a fucking telly. liars. I'll be back in a minute. It'd be okay. mainly Championship and Premier League am for, wouldn't it, if it were on TV? The matches. The one, I don't think they put League Two or League One on TV. Much. No, no, no. The, but I do think that those games, if they were on TV, might create more fans because some people might want to support underdogs or might want to, like, Follow the journey of Shrewsbury or um, Forest Green Rovers or Salford FC. They might want to follow that. You, you, by making it, you only ha you only allowed to watch them if you attend the the season, attend the stadium. You're never going to get these international fans coming in to see those kind of teams until they're in the Premier League. Because you don't hear of any like fans from like fan groups of no. Like Fleet, Fleet, Fleetwood fans from Greece or Fleetwood fans from France, you know what I mean? Oh, you get that for Sunderland, though, mate. <laughs> oh, you do, definitely. You get Sunderland fans from Colombia, France, America, Australia, Greece, Turkey, you know. I've seen, I've seen Sunderland, pretty much every single holiday I've been on, I've seen a Sunderland flag gone somewhere. Sometimes it's by me, <laughs> don't get me wrong. But you always see some representation of Sunderland um, abroad. Uh, the funniest one was I was in um, Iraq, uh, Iraklian, Iraq, uh, uh, I don't know, I can't remember what it was. It was like in the south of Turkey, it began with an I, and there was this, a couple of scooters, and all of the scooters had Sunderland badges on like on the front of them, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> How did that get there? Um, so somebody's clearly, um, clearly that, got, uh, what's it called? That's done on fan abroad. And it's it's nice to see. Um quick quick point. I'll go through the team lineups because uh we're we're coming closer and closer to the, the um the start. Uh, we've got Patterson in goal, Alicia left back, Bath and Ballard as centre backs and Trihume on the right, Neil and Mishu as CDMs, Clark on the left wing, Roberts on the right wing, and Diallo as a C A M and then up front is the one and only Loch Ness Drogba. Um, we have. Um, I'm not too sure how to um, 
take this Fulham team. Um, it looks like it is one of those second string teams that I mentioned on a couple of podcasts this week. Uh, so you've got Rodak in goal, um, Adebayo, um, Kazar. How do you say that name? Kazawa and Diop as centre backs. Tete on the right back, Kenny and Paulinho. Paulinho is going to be an absolute nightmare to mark today. Uh, Solomon, Piera, and Wilson as Cam's, and then Carlos. Is it Benici up front? Venetius, Venetius, not Venici, Venetius. Woohoo! Um, I think there's a lot of people, a lot of Sullen fans saying Sullen are going to win today. Um, or could or we can win? Can you make him a bacon sandwich, mate? Come on. Let him sit big. Get him a bacon sandwich. Can you make me a bacon sandwich? <laughs> Oh, I prefer sausage. You can have some pig, pig's trotters left over, pig's trotters, son, from last night. <laughs> does, does he know that you're, that's just child abuse? <laughs> Man, call the authorities. Uh. Call the authorities, call, pig's trotters. Call, call, call the NFPCC after blooming. Call Peter, that's an offence to pig feet as well. <laughs> it shouldn't be eaten. Uh, yeah. Uh, interesting though. Right, I'm going to put up the audio commentary oh. so make sure that people can at least listen to the game. Nick Barnes and Nick Barnes. BBC Radio News. Hello, yeah. Nick Barnes. Gary Bennett going. Oh. So we... the the team. There you go. Another the teams are on the pitch. Oh, can... Hopefully, can somebody confirm they can hear it in the chat? There we go. Leeds have beaten Atkinson <laughs> and are in the fifth round. Um, I wonder what price you've kept for it. Um, Just shows you how good our fan base is. Any, any, um, any other games that you think might cause any uh, fourth round upsets? This is an open question, by the way. <laughs> any, any, any leads of so I think Sunderland Fulham might be one of those upsets. Uh, Ipswich against Burnley would be a big upset because obviously they're a league apart. Um, Blackpool? Nah, Blackpool are just. I know they've got Mick McCarthy in place now, but I think Blackpool might might be gone. Uh, Grimsby beat Luton would be a bit of an upset, yeah. Uh, how about this evening, Manchester United and Reading? I'm sorry. As much as if United, if United lose to Reading, I will kiss myself laughing. It could be an upset though. It could be on the cards because Reading. Um, Sheffield Wednesday and Fleetwood. It's at Hillsborough. Yeah. We're gonna hammer Fulham. Uh, let's go, GG. Hello. Yeah. I just looked at where the the actual Sunderland game is available to watch. Yeah, it's available to watch in every country apart from the United Kingdom. Yep. Um, but you have to, you have to, you have to, but you have to be able, you have to be signed up to a subscription service to do that. Yeah, yeah, but like the other countries, it's all on like ESPN, Star, Nova, fucking SuperSport. Yeah, it's literally uh, everywhere. So yeah. I know there's coverage out there. It's just how do we get access to it? Um, uh, uh, it would be, if we beat Fulham, who would you like to play in the next game? Um, bearing in mind, there's a few. To be honest, to be honest, anybody but Man City. So. With that, Akin Stanley played on the 24th and then they played again and lost to Leeds. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say anybody. I'd literally say anybody apart from Man City. Uh, you think like, we could be Leeds? They're a good team, Leeds. The only problem is with Manchester United, if they get if they beat Reading and we get them in the next round, Ahmed Diallo can't play and I think he's integral to our, our football at the minute. It, I, I won't be surprised if we got Leeds in the next round. The, that, that, that's on. It's still on the cards. I mean, Leeds do have to win this afternoon, but I oh, know they've already won, haven't they? Sorry, they already won. Yeah. Uh, three-one against Atlanton. Leicester beat Walsall as well. One nil. How are the lads? On. 
Andreas. I'll go down the bookies now and put a bet on that. Well, put this time. Put that there. Mate, what is wrong with us? So yes, um, DJ, um, about the Spurs game, do you know who the manager is for the opposition team? Oh my god. The manager of the Spurs, yeah, it's um, Conte, isn't it? No, the team that are playing Can you Spurs. stop being a Conte? Can, 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 can we just start <laughs> running? I don't want to hear it. It's so shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, see, the, the, de the joke is dead at the fucking Queen Central. Elizabeth at this point. And just leave it be. It's a 2022 <laughs> joke. <laughs> not funny anymore. Mate, I'm hiding my face at that. Oh. Yeah, the last time. Oh, I don't know why DJ came up with it, honestly. None yet. We already know it's none yet. Right, okay. Anyhow, anyhow, right, the game's underway, STO5, welcome along, we're doing well, the game is currently a minute and a half in, and two minutes in, we're doing okay, uh, <laughs> I dare say we can't be, we can't be using the first, first two minutes, we haven't conceded yet, which is always a good sign. <laughs> let's pretend, let's pretend. Let's pretend it's gonna go. What the hell was that? <laughs> when, going to, when going to Fulham, Dav, next time you play Fulham away and you go, Dav, you need to say, Is this a library? Is this a library? What, to Fulham? Yeah, their atmosphere is shit is full of no offense it's to be fair mate i think today might be a very strange one to watch because a a quarter of the stadium is Sunderland fans we are four, i think 47 people shy of six thousand, and they've got a twenty two thousand capacity that that is quite weird um that's a huge amount of a weird a weird ticket that's been sold out well, their fans are happy clappers, Fulham. And I think Norwich are as well out there. Aren't they happy clappers? I mean, probably. But, like, every team gets fans that are happy when they're winning. So, kind of a strange, strange thing to, to be. Uh, there has been goals in the leagues already, by the way. Uh, and the first goal in the FA Cup for the three o'clock kickoffs goes to Birmingham City. Reda Kadara. Um, scores for Birmingham. Um, Blackpool looking. Oh, they changed the lineup a bit. But um, yeah, that's that's interesting already. I think we have Birmingham at home and next to Birmingham at home. Mm. Yeah, the, the stats are looking a little bit nervy. <laughs> We're four minutes into the game and Fulham have been there. Uh, Fulham have had a shot on target already. It's been been saved, but they've got eighty two percent possession in the first five minutes. That can't that can't be maintained throughout the entire game. No. Fulham were big in the day. Well I think they're a big they're a big boy this season though, aren't they? Because they're well are they seventh in the Prem? Let me just eighth. Eighth, eighth in the Prem. A third of the way inside, mm. or not even that now. And normally they, they're a team that finish like 13th, aren't they? Like, they're like, they're not. No, 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 they are seventh, mate. They're seventh in the Prem. 31 points. They, they are in Europa League positions at the minute. Mm. Let's, uh, let's keep this um, pin message thing going. Uh, deal saying, away the lads. And then forwards back here to Danny Bart. So if you haven't got your predictions in, let me know what you think this game's going to be. I think it's going to be um, a Sunderland win because Fulham have put out their second string of players without, with the exception of Paulinho in there. Two seconds. I'm just going to, I'm just going to have to turn DJ down for a couple of minutes. There you go. Thank you. Inside to Neil. Um, am I looking to be on the attack? Can anybody let me know if they find a link to watch this game on? Are we are we are we the lads? 
Wag was through the mark. And he's, again to Fulham back he's, inside. He's always up. Sorry. He's optimistic. He's worth the mark. With the throw, Polinia is pulled down. Like a Leeds down, team from Daniel. 50 years. Well, they were good back in there, weren't the Leeds when they had like Polinia Don Revy and. Well. Uh, yeah, but there's a lot of teams that were good back in the day that are not anymore. Um, yeah. Prime example, I'd say Blackburn. I mean, they're not as well. they used to be, but you know. This team, this is the second team. It's bursting with internationals. All Scores! Shalom goal! 1 0! Yes! Right, I've got to keep an eye on this fucker. <laughs> Oh, and pays it into the bottom right oh, corner. God. What a good finish by Jack Clark. Again. Fucking hell. What's happened there? Where's Jack? Is he gone? I don't Nami, know. It's still in the one to look. What? I don't think they're showing the goals on, on uh, final either. On the left of Jack Phil. Clark with the opening goal Nobody for the game. Down. One Skip shot, one down. goal. Let's fucking go, lads! Come on! <laughs> oh, oh. I'm gonna look like a twat for about 70 minutes of this, uh, 80 minutes of this game now. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yes! <laughs> Who's the tit in the wig? Believe it himself. The... <laughs> oh, fuck it out. This is getting a lot more used than I thought it would. Am I right? Oh, Sutton Sunderland looking much better than this Fulham team. There we go. But he was under pressure again, and he had to be swift. And suddenly, fucking yes, go on. What was the question, Jacob? I want to ask DJ if he's ever had a pig's trotter sandwich. Wouldn't surprise me. With the start that Fulham are made, but we said just moments before. Is he there? Trotters, I am. I'm going pig's trotters, yeah. I don't know what he has done. No. The wake up call for Fulham, yeah. you know, they've turned up <laughs> <everything laughs> in the championship side. I'll tell you what, when that, that goal went in, I thought it was team. Fulham because the roar that went up, I thought that's the home team that scored. It wasn't, it was Sonny. It's, um, it's, a, it's a strange one to be because, like I said, we've got a quarter of the stadium is Sunderland fans um, and with that many fans in there it's going to be as as loud as it possibly can right I'm just going to turn down these two things so you can there we go that looks better there we go now I just need to twist it a tiny bit and I should be in frame the entire time now Let's go, Sunderland. No twats looking better. No, a twats better looking. No, I think I'm not. I'm not going to repeat that. Holy macaroni deal! You sure that's because I can't see it. It's good. I don't know. Goal kick for Fulham or Sunderland there. One 0 then to. How, how is this Sun this Sunderland team are, are, are just on the up and up? It's ridiculous. And then we'll have games like oh, we've got some brilliant players. It's just you think, go on. we deserve every moment. We deserve every moment, good moment this season because of what happened in the past four years. We deserve every good moment. Uh, of what we've been. I'd, I'd probably say the last decade, mate, it's been a tough, a difficult time for us as Sunderland fans to to go through. Whereas, see, uh, even when we were surviving relegation, that is not what the club should have been at. We should have been a mid table Premier League club, not just surviving in the Prem. You knew something was wrong then, didn't you? Yeah. You knew something wasn't right. Uh, it was a five seasons on the bounce, we were in the relegation battle. And, yeah. Favorite as well as relegating Newcastle. Is there any other goals, by the way? At a minute. 
There we go. So there is just the two FA Cup goals at the minute. Sunderland and... Sunderland and Birmingham. Birmingham. FA Cup, my missus called it the FU Cup. <laughs> FO. <laughs> let me just have, let me just have this on this stream. We put behind him. He'll destroy us. He'll destroy us. Oh, yeah, Mitrovic, is, Mitrovic can score from anywhere. It's, like I said, putting out a. Not a second string, but like a, a development squad for Fulham is an interesting choice for the FA Cup. I think they are going to be focused more on their league position for as much as they can this season. Because Europe's a possibility for Fulham, and I think. Um, in League Two, Carlisle have scored, Sutton have scored, Swindon and Gillingham in t in ten minutes is two one. To Gillingham. Double a Gillingham. Are they in? Are they in relegation? Um, in the oh yes, I haven't got the um dedicated championship scores. Apparently, Hull have just got one one nil up against QPR. Which well, means, no, Hull climb to 14th, I believe, and QPR. Oh, if if Hull win, and then I say if if Hull win, if they win 5 0, they will leapfrog QPR. <laughs> it has to be 5 0. <laughs> that probably won't happen, but it's football. You never know. Hull might just. might want it. Um, so for Watford, Am, um, if Watford won, would you? That would be too bad for us, wouldn't it? No, it just means they cement their place in the playoffs, and we have less teams to try and leapfrog over. Mm. But it, like, like we've got um, seventeen games left of this season, and the fact that we're just one point out of the playoffs is a really good indicator of what we can achieve. One point is essentially one of those draws, one of those losses that could have turned into a draw or a draw that we could have turned into a win. It's uh, tight margins. Um, which we lost. Do you, think that, do you think that's helped Borough this season with them being in play? you think if they didn't oh, yeah. win that... Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I think they were when we played them at the Riverside at uh, Middlesbrough. It was one of those games where we um, we needed to beat them to to cement their horrible start. Kenny? Yeah, Kenny. Can you make the live tables? There's a there's a look. Can you make the live tables as local matches, please? Yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, but, so like the milk. That were good. That were a good win for us, wasn't it? Because we we weren't expecting that. It was Tosin. He threw himself out. How the hell does YouTube put a copyright on a silent video after a funny video? The video camera on the ball. Jackpot ball. There's no sound on the telly or anything. I think it's inside the Fulham half. I can I can tell you the technical side of it, mate, but um, yeah, it is clever. Essentially, what it does is it looks at four four to eight locations on the video for frames that match other videos, and if the colour difference is not the same, then it will um, match the IDs of those two videos to to each other. Why well, you got to be careful with copyright content? Almost on halfway on the right-hand side here, waiting to get the ball back to take. Yeah, the I think the playoff final for the championship no, it will be, I think, Watford but, uh, and... You know what, I'm going to go with Watford and... Um, Watford and who, sorry? Too late to see a replay of that uh, last attempt by... Okay. Vinicius battling with that wouldn't be bad, would it? Do you think that would be a good game, that? Watford was... West Brom. Mm. Watford and Norwich at Wembley. S oh, sorry. Just speaking of West Brom, by the way, they are now 1-0 behind against Bristol City in the FA Cup. So, Bristol City looking likely to go through, even though they're lower down in the table. Yeah, it was happened to West Brom in the last couple of weeks. Since they got rid of Steve Bruce, they've rocketed up the table, haven't they? Yeah. That looks insane. 
Um, we checking all the results as well, and it's nil nil at Ipswich and Burnley, Luton and Grimsby, Wednesday and Fleetwood and Hampton and Blackpool. So. I think I'm going to keep an eye on the. Uh, nope. I watched your video. Is that a soccer game? What? They did pretty bad. Right, Harry right, Wilson. Listen, they did pretty bad. Never mind. On the right to Tete. Sure. And now Polinio. How are we looking like on the pitch, mate? To Tete and down the right wing to Andreas. Back into the Fulham. Fulham is slowly starting to come back, back into the Diop, game now. Diop across to Tosin here. And That's really interesting what they're doing with that. Um, do you know with the FA Cup coverage and the three o'clock stuff, like the commentators are not allowed to have the footage of the, the game in the background when they're reporting on it, so they put it on at the crowd instead. It's kind of strange. <sighs> Seventeen minutes, but run one back by Roberts. Roberts, Roberts. again through the middle here, looking to try and get Stewart in. Stewart in. Russ. Oh, oh hamstring's gone, gone for gone. Stewart. Hamstring's gone, gone for Stewart. Oh, oh no. Well, we're fucked then. Mark Quinn uh, has popped in says, Hey, I saw the score and had to come in and listen. Good for Sunderland. Is Fulling playing their strongest squad? No, they're not. Um, and I've... Another out and out striker. This is why you know, we need a backup you know, striker. Alexander. You're literally repeating Gary Bennett word for word, mate. It's fucking so, weird. <laughs> he's, put a spin on the game. Yeah. he's like, he went, now. he's getting treatment now, and this is the reason why we need another out and out striker. And there's you repeating that verbatim. Um, that's you, you know, you know back. It. You know, oh, we exactly could get him back, but... Yeah. But, yeah, um, Mark, to answer your question, no, Fulham aren't playing their first-team squad, and I don't blame them for not. They're playing the same, roughly the same squad that they played against Hull um, two and a half weeks ago when they won 2-0. So, Park Nev, welcome along, mate. How are we doing? Uh, we're away to Fulham. Uh, yeah, so we are... One nil up. Ross Stewart's down, getting some treatment for a hamstring injury. Fulham are playing a, I wouldn't say second string, but more development squad. Uh, they're all Premier League ready. Uh, Paulinho being the, I think their talisman in the in this current lineup. Um, but Sunderland are better off. Better off. Um, He's got both his hands on top of his head. He's clasping the bottom of his leg, like the back of his car. I don't think it's a hamstring. Ahmed in the middle. It could be a quad, mate. He could have, he could have um, torn a quad ligament. Just, just bought the two West Ham blokes scored. Uh, no, it was Jack Clark that scored. Well, who, who got the assist for Sunderland? Just to confuse us. Was it just a, an outright Clark goal? So here, here we are. Goal, Fulham, uh, nil, Sunderland, one, Jack Clark. Sunderland, right foot shot from the centre of the box into the centre of the goal. You should never be able to score in the middle of the goal. <laughs> DJ tonight and uh, won't be too bad then. Well, you've got to wait, mate, because it's only 20... Sorry, I'm pointing in the wrong direction. It's only 20 minutes in. Our striker is going off on a stretcher by the sounds of it. He's going to be carried off now. Oh. That's, why a lot, that's why a lot of fans news, also yeah. say, hell with the cup news. games, it's the league yeah. that matters. But yet again, if, if it's an injury, that's where it's a goal. It, it would have just happened the in the league game, wouldn't it? Rooms in the, the corner. And, do you know what? Just, yeah. It's just waiting to go, ching, we'll be... and it's, it's going to happen anyway, isn't it? His oh, an interesting goal in League One, though. Peterborough have took the lead against the uh, league leaders, Portsmouth. 1-0 lead for Sunderland. What does that do to the league table for League One? Fulham fans around us. I think League One's a bit I like... know, oh, Port Portsmouth are not League Leaders. What am I talking about? It's Plymouth, not Portsmouth. Here. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Peter... Well, Stewart's turning out to have glass legs, isn't he? I mean, he comes on. Anybody might want to put in a bid for him at this rate. To replace him now to see how... Mm. I mean, it, we're getting some fights now in, in one Clark season. The season's not even finished yet. <laughs> I think the interest in uh, Ross Stewart might start to dip. Uh, no, the interest in getting him if he's just gone injured might definitely dip, but um, I still think he plays for the shirt. Um, he's a quality, he's a quality player. He just needs to keep himself fit as long as possible. I, I do think 
I do think we are potentially running them ragged because he's our only out and out target. Now we've got um, Joe Gelhart in. We might have the replacement for Stewart, but we prefer to have two up front. Uh, we're still in the lead, lads, so. Just uploaded that um, Sunland goal again, but I've. Um, I uploaded it again, but I, um, I recorded through some editing software called Power Direct on my mobile phone. Yeah. Still I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'll, we'll talk about it offline. It's uh, it's something that we can sort out. Um, I can. I'm trying to find the thing. I was trying to find something there, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, that was it. The studio mode. <laughs> so I can pin that Pennywell pundit comment. There we go. Puts it forward, but Elise, oh, is studio mode working? It should be. Well, there's some FA Cup uh, games tomorrow. Elise, Liverpool away at Brighton, Neil. Stoke at home, Stevenage, uh, and Wrexham at home to Sheffield on United. The of Kearney, out to Elise on the left -hand side, looking for Clark, but to yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we've, we've spoke about the uh, the the league games happening now. That's why it's on this side here. Elise, who heads it forward, uh, there's only one more midweek game that could potentially. Um, change how the league looks going into next weekend against Millwall, but um, yeah, that's a day or two off. Uh, looks like we uh, looks like so. SCO5 says looks like we better push for Sims now. You think having Sims on our on our cards is going to be a big difference? He's proven himself this season. Yeah. It, maybe because now Sean Dyche has come in, he probably he could. He can see he might not come now. I will be yeah. back shortly. I've got to go to town to. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one hidden, by the way. Uh, um, Jungo, Joseph Uch, welcome along, buddy. Hi. I think we need to sign a striker, lads. Yes, without a doubt. I think we've already got Joe Geller, uh, Gelhart. I, I'm jolly. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, I think we, we need more outlets. Uh, Jakku being released, shall we say, let out on. Uh, let go of. Another stoppage. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Jacku is a striker. Um, I'd much rather have an injured Ross Stewart than Jacku is a go-to option, um, which is which shows you how much confidence most most Sunderland fans have in him. Oh, Southampton are winning one 0 But uh, he's saying Joseph is saying Fulham to win the match. Maybe now that we've um, got we've lost our striker through to injury. That might be a thing you've got to consider. consider. Let me just see. Who came on for Stuart there? Demba Bar, you mean? Abdullah. Abdullah Bar. Yeah, Abdullah Bar replaces Ross Stewart because of an injury. Someone's saying it's not a hamstring. That that looks more like either Achilles or Clark tear. And it looks like a tendon injury. In the Someone circle. else has posted on social media is coming to be an injury prone Ross Stewart. It's full of it's a shame because it could spoil his career. Um, but the bad news is Ross Stewart Good. has been carried off. Here's Put him in an ice bath, right get him get him wrapped in cotton wool. We'll be all right. Back heel to Roberts. Roberts, another ball into Clark here. It won't quite fall for him, but Ahmad's there trying to slot it Just home. as you think, suddenly goes to the keeper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Lovely football again, though. Isn't yeah. It? And then coming in the background goes of those players now. And you know, nothing is too big for them to take on, if you like. Across to Diop. Back across to Tosin. And he's uh, bringing this out and then playing it across again to Diop on the. And uh, Pennywell Pundit says, I'd rather have Chlamydia than Jacku. <laughs> I'm sure Sticky might be able to help you with that one. South London is where he started his career. And now Solomon taking it across. 
Oh, oh there's a shocking result in League One. I know we don't care about it, but Forest Green are winning one nil away at Shrewsbury. Is it that shocking though? Well, I mean they're in a relegation battle, Forest Green. Thank you for that subscriber there. Thank you. Oh yes. Uh, are we are we monitoring that this game? I don't think I am. No. Yeah, no. But we have 10 likes on this stream as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Solomon. So it sounds like it's all Fulham at the minute, but you can understand why. There's been a bit of a, um, a change in dynamic now that Ross Stewart's been taken off. But Abdullah Bar is more than capable of beating through defenders. It's about... It's about being clinical in front of goal and putting the ball in the back of the net. I don't know who that is. Andreas, Andreas behind the stanchion comes out into full view, and here's Polinia. He tries a shot, sails into the crowd. The red and white shirts behind Anthony Patterson. Whatever the result. And Sunderland we'll still lead 1 0. Yeah, enjoy the experience. You're not going to lose any points, I guess. Yeah, they're going to have a long yeah. possession of the ball. They're going to go left and right. They're going to go short, go long, go back. But it's important ah. that they don't come through us. You know, if they want to have to take long shots, fantastic. Let them do that. Patterson there. I'll need to turn on a VPN for that to work, okay. so maybe not. The ball placed centrally on his six yard line. Sunderland in there. Red and white stripes this afternoon. Up it goes towards Mishu. Gets a flick to it with his head. It's going to come back to Tosin, though, and he will play it back to the goalkeeper. Closed down by Amma, but he lifts it over him out to Tosin on the. Left of the Let me try that, Page. You know. He drives it forwards this time. Ballard in how about the this? Forwards, but it drops to let's keep, try let's keep trying to find it. We'll bring this forwards well, well, up well, over well. the still halfway well. line. It's a good thing. He knows, uh, yeah, it's still in front. Tony Mowbray. Uh, it's can we can we hold out? Are we are we going to go for the hold out method or are we going to go for? Tony Mowbray. Oh my God, you sad bastard! So uh, we're winning one nil, right? And there's three Jodies who have replied to the Ross Stewart going off injured message with laughing faces. Absolute sad axe, man! Get on your own fucking. You go. Get on your own teams. Fucking feed, man, you sad, sad human. So people on social media saying Stewart shouldn't have started, why risk him? Solomon, who's on loan from Shaq Dardanex. And there's a smile on the face of the team. I get why not, why risk him, but... Yeah. He's going to get injured, I've said before. If he's going to get injured, he's going to get injured because of it. Tosan. Yeah, score more. Jordi... Down goes Andreas. <coughs> it's gonna go. It's gonna go. looked at it and given nothing. I'm sure they'll be looking at it. Oh, at Stocky Park. The ball, Clark. Eventually the ball goes out on the far side for a Fulham throw. Back in play, Tosan. And that's what Clark's got to do. You know, he's retention off the ball. The ball's being played out. He's got to get, get, get hold of it. Believe get a breather. Uh, we Andres might be able to do inside. it. It comes into the middle, but cleared by Dan Neal. Ahmad. Clark's made a run, but it's cut out by Diop. Back into the centre circle to Kearney. And uh, Tom Kearney to Andrew. Oh, yes, lads. Yes, lads. <laughs> he's ready. He's ready. He's ready. Began his career what? with Manchester City. He had a season loan at Burnham. Uh, he's known to... Sorry, uh, just want to do this. If... Stranger to him. Out to Tete on the far side. Inside to Andreas. Andreas gets the ball forwards again here now, edge of the penalty area. Oh, and <laughs> just past it. Good can't dive in. <laughs> Found one. <laughs> it looks to be about 40 seconds behind the actual audio commentary, but half time we can watch this this on. This is good. Right, it's in the uh, 29th minute, and what is that? How far is it? That's the Wilton effort. There, you, yeah, it's about 25, 30 seconds behind. But I'm all right with that. You're a wizard. Jordi has good sports. Cody. Let's go more. Russian could attack next. Oh my! What the hell are you talking about, Dio? Fulham, Fulham are trying to pay for pens against a championship side. Well, 
if you notice here, uh, here, here, wrong way, that way, that way, yes, it says replay if it's a draw, so it goes to a second leg. Yeah, I'd like to put, if we played him at home, I... You're a wizard, Harry. I'm just Harry. <laughs> well, uh, is, is Dog back? No, Dog is back. Hello, mate. He's got the same um, condition as me as Daniel Radcliffe. Which is... Dyspraxia. Dyspraxia, you can't read numbers. No, it's like coordination disorder and motor skills. An actor with coordination skills. That doesn't... How? He must be highly functioning then. Yeah. Worrying about Stuart, no value. I mean... Yeah. I, it, with him being injured, that makes... Oh, the do, do you know if somebody was looking to purchase him in this window? I think that's gone out the wind. That's gone out of the window now, because you don't want to buy a player when he's injured because he'll not pass your medical. <laughs> like, how could he pass a medical if he can't jump on the treadmill and do some basic runs? Official footwear partners. Oh, what a ball! How he? Ah, oh, Amadiallo with the heavy touch. Uh, looking to break fast. Didn't do enough. Um, are you singing there, uh, Jacob? Well, it's a good song. But I'm not going to sing the inappropriate amateur ever. Oh, that's, that, that's all right. It's, uh, well, you can sing it. Just mute yourself while you do it. Back it goes to Diop. Us Sunderland fans can be very bold. Abrupt. Yeah. Uh, are we keeping an eye on the other scores around the leagues as well? Yeah, I'm going to check if there's anything that's changed. But last time I seen it. Just need this here as well, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. Oh, 2 0 Bristol City. Rides the challenge of Mishu, or well, two challenges, uh, gets it back to Dion. And he scored the um, Dion game yet, Jacob. Back here to Tosin. No, it doesn't kick off till 6 pm. He's trying to wind you up, mate. Is it working? Inside, nearly. Well, it was cut nah, out by Dion, but he couldn't really get match match enough control of it. <laughs> just have to have a look <laughs> for some <laughs> streams. Just Dion. type in. Now, Polinia. Um, forwards through the middle. Uh, the is, is a um, second goal in the Bristol City West Brom game. 2 0 now for Bristol. There's been a leveller in the Birmingham game as well. 1 1. Blackburn. Blackburn. Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> Say that five times fast in a Brummie accent. Knocks the ball across to Tosin. And Tosin back to Diop. And Diop again to Tosin. It's dry yeah, here in Fulham West are just playing it around the back. And looking very creatively challenged, shall we say. I think Tony Pulis used to be manager of uh, Fulham at one point. Let me just, I'm just going to quickly edit this in less than seven second spells so I can show you moments of the game that happen. <laughs> Sunderland won BBC Radio Newcastle and BBC Sounds. Down the left, As you can see, I've managed to find from Vinicius. footage. Inside to Kearney. I can't. Blackburn won, Birmingham won. Thanks for the subscriber there, um... Wing Wilson. There we go. Not Rag. What are you using him? I like it. Squares to Kearney. Kearney forwards left. Kazawa, back to Tosin, I do get him. Across to Diop, <laughs> and then to Polina. It's not Jacobs in the middle, channel, is it? Oh, uh, there has been a goal in the championship. Middlesbrough, oh no, 1 0 up against Watford. The fact that we beat the team that are currently sat in third, and we did it quite comfortably. Yeah. I, I, I'm still waiting our chances this season, even with or without Ross Stewart. Uh, 
And that, is that why Craven Cottage is called Craven Cottage? A full stop. Uh, the, the name Craven Cottage drove us from a resi residence that supposedly hosted a number of majestic guests, including Queen Victoria. Yeah, so Craven is a um, a bastardization of Coven. Yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah, it's, it's a, you're a wizard, Pallum. <laughs> It's by, by a river as well, he's Fulham's ground. Good tackle by Roberts. Oh, really? gets it out to Ahmad by a river as well, he's Fulham's ground. For Sunderland, I don't know if you've noticed that. <laughs> Everton's new stadium will be as well. Oh, I find that bizarre. Say that again, DJ. Uh, they've got the potential, mate, but the, um, I think they need to establish what they're doing with their with their players. They've recalled Broadhead, they've recalled Sims, they've done quite a lot of um, strange decisions with um, John Terry in charge. So, yeah. Time will tell. It's why our owners should go for promotion. If we can beat Fulham with our current squad, that shows that, that we are maybe, just maybe, ready. We do need strikers, though. It looks like that with every team, though. You can't, you can't just rely on that one striker because you have to expect you're going to get injured. Well, okay, okay. It's important just having a good striker with itself. Is having a backup. The um, the, the really good example of a, a striker that gets injured that is that was essential for the team is Man City with Aguero. Aguero was their number one and only striker for a long time, um, and then they they just threw money at Balotelli and stuff like that. So they've got options if that player got injured. We don't really have that. Then comes back we might the with Gelhart, but that's a low knee. And it bobbles eventually the cross into the hands of the keeper at the near post. Cross that. Couldn't get any lift on it at all. An awful cross from Sunderland. Goalkeeper will bowl it out to Kazawa on this the ball and it like hand side. Bobbled on the ground. What was that? Yeah, here, here it is. Here it is. Here's the incident. Plays it back to the goalkeeper. I'll do it again in three, two, one, one, two, one. Yeah, that. <laughs> You're not wrong, mate. Uh, Tuba Akpom with that Middlesbrough goal, by the way. Does um. Looking for Solomon. Takes it well. Taking on Hume. Cuts across the back of the area. Into the gym last night. Into the penalty area. Vinicius. Oh, the stream. Tries a shot. It's blocked. Oh, the gym. Went to the gym. Tumbles over the back of Danny Barr. No. We're penalty. Nah, nah. I don't. I don't. I ain't gone to the gym. Nah, that must have been Dabla. You're spitting dabs, mate. Spitting dabs. We are about eight minutes away from the first half whistle. Um, what do you reckon to our performance so far? Crosses. Um, all right, right so we've got a bit defensive. Yeah. Yeah. Getting yeah. more and more defensive. Getting, 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 getting a bit too deep. Sometimes we've got to be a little on. bit brave. I'd like to see us more, more attacking. It's hard to get the Premier League team, so we can't complain too much. I'm not, I'm not complaining, mate. We're in the lead. It's just... Without Stuart up there, you can see there's a huge gap. I know uh, Abdullah Bar came on to replace him, but he just feels like he's a midfielder up front rather than an out-and-out -out striker. It affects the confidence of the team when the not on. You can see it. You can visibly see the entire team slowing down a bit. Brazilian. It's, it's like he's the mission a, control, a he's the backbone of the team, and it's like when he's not there, it's so like a, a like fish out of water. It's like, oh, Christ, I might want to do Well, that, that, was gonna, that was going to be my analogy, but a little bit. It's a, a fish without a head, isn't it? Just flapping about. Um, no yeah. real direction to it. Uh, he is the, 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 the front end of the fish, Lainus or the shark or whatever you want to use that uses a snake. He's the front end of that, that body, and without him there, it's just all over the place but Fulham are a team that could drag us around the pitch and um, yeah we'll see oh Fulham corner that Fulham corner was 
very very squeaky bum time for us I mentioned this is yet to score and I feel I've now said that he probably will but fingers crossed he won't it's been frustrating for him so far oh here's an interesting result um uh, results score line MK Dons nil Exeter one halfway inside their own half one nil to Sunderland still in the 41st minute are you telling are you telling people to like and subscribe Darv is Tosin putting the ball forward straight to Mishu. He is. I'll do it. <laughs> Please. Pelinia uh. saying that Mishu dived. Yeah, I find that quite difficult when six foot five of Portuguese is falling on top of you that you've dived. Here's Roberts down the right side of the Fulham penalty area. He's got Kazawa in front of him. He goes round him into the penalty area. Now oh. under the path of Oh, oh, my, oh my God. Bird. You can understand. You can understand why. You know what he's tried to do. He's tried to Here we go. I'll show you the effort that uh, Gary Bennett is giving the big wobbler about. And Here we are. Here's the effort. What the fuck he's trying to do there? Doing he's quite clearly trying to shoot me. I blanks. Just the wrong side. Here we go. It's we're playing it now from a slightly different angle. Uh, here we are. You know what? The fact that Sunderland are getting. Unbelievable block. What a block. That tackle. Still to Sunderland. Who was marking number eight? Knee one. You know, you, you're talking about turning points. Mate. Game. They should be level. Fulham have gone down the other end. They could easily have equalised. Fulham should be level now. <laughs> Ballard the Ballard. <laughs> Here we are. I'm, I'm about to show you just above me, right here. Are we ready? In three, two, one. What a block. What a block. Kaboom. What a block. Worldwide Army. What a block. Lays it off the right hand side. Down the right Get again. <laughs> to Tete to cross. Get Looking for Vinicius. Cleared by Hume. Out uh, it's a good performance from Sunderland. I'm not going to lie. It's, it could be better, but, but it could be worse as well. We're, we're doing the right things at the right moments. He's had five minutes to book him. Money going to build up. Got to help. We managed. Um, so, I don't know why Elisa's been put, but Polinia. The prick. Drama going down on his knees. The ref. His arms around, but yeah, the ref. The free kick for Sunderland. Fulham FA Cup runners in Oh, that were a bit of a nasty challenge for Fulham. In 1975. There'll be a reason for it. We just don't know what it is. We might not have seen it. And, uh, and why is it? Is it safe for you to do that? I'm not complaining, but I want to still get the challenge on. So yes, it is. Um, it, it's if I. What's it called? There is, I'm allowed up to seven seconds and I have to have a commentary and an overview that transforms the content, which I think I'm doing. Um, so it, it falls under fair use, I think. That's why I'm only doing it for six seconds. I'm not risking it going over the seven second mark. It's still transformative. So I've looked into it, um, but if... If I've got to trim out the section for the copyright, I'm more than happy to do that on the VOD. Uh, if, the, if the league, if the uh, FA Cup, if the um, owners of the coverage, ESPN, whatever, want to take that part down, I'm more than happy to do so. So I'll not get in trouble. Yeah, I'll, I'll, get in tr I'll get in trouble for that section of the video. The rest of the video is mine. <laughs> I, I, that's why I'm not just showing the entire game. I'm showing the moments of the game that um, we're talking about. I'm yet to be told off. So, um, if I get told off, I won't do it ever again. But 
tell you what, you certainly can't uh, tell the difference quality-wise between the sides. Oh no, they, like Sunderland look like they're on Fulham's level, if not slightly above it. It's Here's Kearney. That's that's what he got a yellow card for. This is the yellow card incident. He gets all of the ball. It was a um, a slide challenge where he gets the he gets the ball. That's really confusing. Why was that a yellow card? Four minutes on the board now on the advertising banner. Four minutes of extra time in the first half. We're already one in it. Diop. 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 You think it's a nice stadium, though, Am Craven Cottage in general? I mean, it's a London stadium, uh, so it's it's bound to have certain standards. But I think it's just at the minute for me. I think it's just a little bit barren. It, it, it's a it's a good looking stadium. There's that thing at the side of the stadium for Fulham that sort of like house thing. I'm not sure if that's like a bit. Oh, oh, no, that's the that's the um, uh, changing room. Yeah, the the cottage, the tra the, tra the changing rooms. So I think I've seen people standing on the balcony on it. So yeah, it's it's only employees that can go in there, and uh, VIP guests. Oh, that is definitely offside. Can you imagine if it were a VIP amp? That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Like... Oh, Grimsby yeah. are beating Lou. Is that the FA Cup? Yes, it is. Yeah, you said that it could be an upset. Did we have a deal? Well, Luton might want to focus more on championship, won't they? So he's on side. He's on side. That's on side. We could have Grimsby Amph if we want. Eh, uh, no, I'm all right. Grimsby. Grimsby might make a score through to the sixth round if we do get a team like that. Uh, Middlesbrough though have took a two-nil lead. So that red card's not affected them, has it? No, not at all. Maybe he was a shit player though anyway. So. Well, what's your thoughts of the first half, everyone? All right, I mean... And, uh, pass and we'll take the free kick. Good that we've kept <laughs> the lead and not as we head into the break. bottled it like five Patterson minutes after, but... Strolling back with the ball. Yeah. If keep this, then... Carefully, I'm sure. and, uh, I don't know. I'll just... right side of his be surprised because... Area. Fulham are a pretty decent side. Get on but, with it on. So, uh, kick, sorry? Down the right wing. Hume goes up with Kazawa. What was that question now? Silence. The, 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 the uh, yeah, oh, probably. It's probably. It's, um, I'll be playing uh, on my Xbox and doing some chores around the house and pellet on tonight, but yeah, I'll be in the middle of that. Um, fair. What are you whinging for? He tries a shot, huh? crash into Polinia. Is it because you're watching Sunderland beat Fulham? And out wide now hey? Is that what it is? Roberts, of course, and Stewart's gone off injured. Away. Is that why you're whinging? To slip in between two players, hey, come on. Two, yeah, just called it out. Um, Marcus False gets the goal for Middlesbrough in the 48th minute of first start. But yeah, um, performance-wise for Sunderland... Oh, oh you're turning into Gary oh, Bennett, Gary. mate. Calm yourself down. <laughs> Excellent. And he's got a yellow card, hasn't he? That Wilson. Wilson. It was yeah. a good advantage. It's not a scar. I just, I just think and it's really, really funny. Nick Bart. Well, what a time to be discussing. It's got to be half time now, right? Surely? Yeah, yeah. It's half time, 1 0. Half time, mate. It's half time. But look, this is how Sunland are performing in the second half. At the end of the first half, we're not just letting like, sitting back and letting them go for the goal as much as they want. It's it's end to end, and we're showing how good we can be against a team like Fulham. So I'm quite happy with how this is performing. It means. But it's been a thoroughly entertaining first. Half. Th it means we're, yeah, yeah, we're if you're, if you're a neutral, it's a you're getting carried away like this. I think it means we might be Premier League ready. 
if we're if we're performing against, I know it's a second string Fulham team, but they have got some first team starters in there. If we're performing this well against somebody who's that high in the Premier League, we could be we could be in uh, like Nottingham Forest, like uh, Crystal Palace, Brighton. Like we could we could be in that pack of Premier League clubs with these players. It's it's looking that nice. A second goal would be <laughs> special. He's tiny dying out of the <laughs> bullet. <laughs> but yeah, we are officially half time 1 0. I might go get some weight on the back of the cottage. So yeah, um, I'm just going to mute the, the commentary whilst we're waiting for the second half to start. If anybody notices it go up before that we'll um we'll go at ftms ftms i'm gonna put that one as a pinned message <laughs> bear off you you're just a pest aren't you this bloody dog here we go this bloody dog ish 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 what what Blurry because I've got background, background blur on it. And uh, there we are. Good boy. They're going to come at us. We must attack. I don't think we can. Yeah, deal. I don't think we can defend for the rest of the game. Uh, we Not do need. Know. We do need to get a second to make this a little bit more comfortable. But even then, Fulham are more than capable of breaking us down, especially with this current squad. But Jack Clark with this goal, man. I I, I think I can show you it now. Because it's uh, half time. Um... <laughs> oh, look at that little boss man. <laughs> Here we are. Here's the Fulham goal. Uh, well, the clock closes it down. One, two, three. Bang. Round the keeper. As nice as you like. But I have no idea what Fulham were doing defensively there. It was absolutely stupid. Clark punishing them. Gets his own. Dog needs a hat or a scarf. I've got two. I've got two doggies. I've got uh, Bear, the four and a half year old beagle boy, and Lola, the nearly nine year old beagle girl. So they're both son and fans. <laughs> we do. We do seem to be performing better since uh, we've had both of them together, haven't we? Hey, hey. I sure. So. <laughs> Uh, somebody subscribe to your channel then just unsubscribe straight away okay 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 thanks for the shout out now bye there you go Sod you then use you anyways right what do you think of the first half boys have we held our own have we been run out of the park what, what do you reckon well, i'll speak at once <laughs> oh he's gone underneath now DJ, what do you reckon to the first half? Um, yeah, not bad. Um, I, I don't think Fulham are much of a threat. Um, I, I just think it's 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 ours for the taking. But it's been a been a decent performance. Sunderland, we've had our chances. Um, to be honest with you, we should have. You know, I suppose Fulham as well, mind. But you know, we should be more than one goal to the good. Mate, th to be fair, um, like. The one goal we got was us being better than them defensively. This bloody dog is a pest. Hello. <laughs> um, stats wise, I think Fulham have been on top, but apart from that Ballard blocked shot, like you said, I don't think they've provided much threat in front of goal. They've had a lot of shots, but all of them pretty poor. Um, so. I think what Fulham need is essentially somebody like Mitrovic to come on and to get them their leveller back into this game. Because the way they're currently going forward, I think we've got the beating of them. Jacob, mate, what do you reckon? Sorry, I'm back. Just had a bit of yeah. a break. Yeah, no worries. What do you reckon of the first half? And um, if you want to look at the new pinned co uh, comment as well, Deal has uh, said we need somebody in our back office yeah um good first half and i mean i mean we're playing a premier league team and it does impress me that we're do, like we're not struggling and that it, 
it does show some signs that maybe we could do it in the Premier League if we went up and we're not sitting back either. So we've not like gone, oh, let's sit back, let's sit back and so, yeah. Invite them on. Yeah, uh, there's a long way to go to Tipperary. There's a long way to go yet. Yeah, well, if if it does, um, if Fulham do get a leveler or get a goal back, it will go to a replay at the stadium of light. And um, on that point, more game time for more people might be a good thing, but it clearly isn't right now for people like Ross Stewart, who we are heavily reliant upon. Well, only had 31% possession. So yeah, mate. That, we've been clinical with what we've had, essentially. That's the difference between the two teams. Um, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't, like... It, oh, just because we've got less, like, less possession, it doesn't... It, he got it. Is the... We're winning. So what, Sunderland, the, the, the draw's never kind to Sunderland, is it? We always either get like the, the, the team in our own league or... Uh, the team above us. Above us, away from home. We'll never get like uh, Melchester Rovers or something like that. It's always <laughs> Melchester. <laughs> yeah, you always you always get the teams like the fucking Arsenal's or the Spurs that get the like the, the yeah. um them them non league teams and stuff. It's like eh, it just it always seems to be the case. Yeah, well, the, there is that factor to it as well. But um, Adam saying we've got to be careful in the second half around. Who comes on for Fulham? Because they have Mitrovic who can come on in front. They've got Willian. Um, they've got a really good stacked bench that are first-team Premier League players. And right now they're putting out the the ones that need more game time to, to get them up to that standard. And, um, yeah, we would seem to just be doing better than them. Morning Super Roker Row from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Uh, for the first time in a long time, we get to see the lads over here on tv oh so that's uh <laughs> okay that must be what it is then because it's it pretty much impossible to watch it in the uk um for the most like for the most part like you've got to be on a vpn watching a streaming service that's provided by america australia basically anywhere other than the uk you can't watch the fa cup live in the uk unless you go to the game or it's broadcast on BBC at six o'clock. So, so we've got it. We've hooked and crooked it. Here we are. It's showing you replays of the Man City game, which will probably get you a little bit of um, backlash from YouTube. But yeah. Um, thank you, Callum. Callum's popped into the chat and says, hope Joffy smashes for you lot. Um, Callum, who do you support? I'm going to guess Leeds at the, at the first point, but... Yeah, uh, the signings. Joffe coming in for Ross Stewart. I, I think it would have been a partnership where it would have been Joffe and Stewart up front. But is that us crying out for another striker before the window closes on Tuesday? You think? Another. Sorry, mate. Definitely. definitely. Yeah, definitely got to get another striker because, you know, it's without Stewart, we're. I mean, as well as Joe, he's a good player. It's... We're screwed, essentially. Well, oh, the thing is, I know this talks about Sims coming back, and if he doesn't come back, um, it's not going to be the end of the world, I don't think. We have proven that we can still get good results against teams in this league, in, in the championship, sorry, not the, the FA Cup, um, when we don't have either of our dedicated strikers available. It just means, I think, that we will potentially have a join for the first game against Millwall next week. Rather than easing him in, we're going to throw him in on the deep end and heavily rely on his talent. So we've got a striker replacement for this Ross Stewart injury for our next game. It's just getting through this next 45 minutes and the uh, this round of the FA Cup that that's going to be a factor to, to potentially how long um, or how severe that injury is going to be. Because I th <laughs> One of the worst things I think we could do is look for a replay. So I think set ourselves up with uh, counter-attacking in mind like we have in the first half. I think we'll be all right. We'll go through. Um, apparently, Pennywell says, it, Ross Stewart's injury record prior to us was bad at Ross County. 
So he is like um like DJ said, has he got glass legs? Is that what it is? It's no good, is it? It's 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 no good. I mean, it doesn't matter how good a player is, <clears throat> um, if he's gonna have two quite major injuries within the season, it's, it's no good. It's no good to anyone. Yeah, I, 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 not 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 sounding harsh, but you know, what's the point of being a, a really really good dangerous striker if you can't get on the pitch to play? Well, he did play every single, well, not every single minute, but every single game for us in League One. So it shows you, he that he, yeah, he shows you he can hold out for an entire season, but he's had two injuries this season already now. Um, if he comes back after a month out, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a good period of time out. Um, will we have already potentially lost our playoff push hopes? Um, because he's dropped us two points for not being that that talisman up front, or do you think Joel will come in and and be the next best striker for this league? That's 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 the it's if what and buts that are coming ahead that we don't know now because of this one injury. Bizarre. On 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 Sunderland story on Instagram, it's got half time one nil, and it's showing a Sunderland fan holding like a cardboard cut out of a cup with tin foil on, and red and white ribbons on the side. It says nineteen thirty seven, nineteen seventy three, and twenty twenty three with a question mark. She's just funny. Ah, uh, that's recency, though, isn't it? Like, I'd, if we're mm. beating other Premier League opposition on the way, that would be that would be ideal. But could you imagine another Sunderland Leeds final? <laughs> that would be that would be hilarious. Adam well, saying in the nineteen thirty seven Cup final we won that were against Preston. <laughs> so. Yeah, but that Preston was a completely different team. They they were one of the founders, weren't they? Who was the Preston manager in that on that game on, on that game, Jacob? Do you know that one? Lord knows. It was. It was Lord knows. Was it Lord knows? Or was it? Was that yeah. Was Lord knows? Who had yeah. The, um, yes. No, it's um, it's it's a, it's a lord with a really big kink. Lord knows. <laughs> I mean, I've gone 25 minutes though, binging, you know, talking about Preston and Jacob, I'm going to fetch it up again, didn't he? Fuck it up. Right. Fuck it in, man. Right. I'm, I'm going to move on from the Preston banter. Um, big frame, what he runs into the ground and he won't help. That's get, again, again, about Stuart saying he's, he's big and he's broad, but um, do we need to have a more rotation? Around who we put up front each game now. Do you think that would be a better tactic with Stewart starting to get injured more often? So he plays one game, gets gets come on, comes on on the bench from the second game, and then plays the next game. That do you think that rotation for our strikers um, might be a better idea for us, or um, do we just keep putting? Well, it'll be Joe on for a while, and just keep keep relying on him to feed the goals. Can't just rely on one player, can we? So I mm. think we just might have to do that rotation. Um, so yeah, it, it's 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 teams coming out again. Teams are coming out again. Good to hear. Let me just replace it. Um, I only ever wear this razzle dazzle on my head when Sunland are winning. Um, and in the Shrewsbury game, I wore it for a collective 45 seconds. So the fact that we can potentially wear this for 83 minutes of this game. Yeah. How are you going? Uh, we're coming out to the second half. Any second now? Yes. Jack Clark scores in the Brilliant. sixth minute. Oh, I, thought, I, I just turned the audio commentary on and I just heard, Scores! Jack Clark scores! Then he went in the sixth minute. The <laughs> so I thought we'd scored a second one straight from the fucking break there. I was like, what the fuck? Have I missed that? Uh, yeah. Need more scorers. Sorry about my absence. I had to go. Um... Amazon thing. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, the players are coming out. There's, there's a lot more players on this pitch than I thought would be necessary. Like, look how many people are on this pitch. That's bizarre. The pitch looks like an absolute carpet, though. It looks so good. Here we are. Are you watching the game now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you've got it up. 
I've got a dub for you, mate. Yes. It's so I could watch this and that at the same time. So I can keep an eye on the other goals. In that case, I'm closing down. Um, but yeah, if you want to watch just the game itself uh, on Discord in the inner circle, <laughs> you can click on that and watch it on uh, feed one. <laughs> right, we're out. We're underway. Hi, Ash. How are we doing? Tag is here. Uh, we are about to kick off for the second half. We've had 15 likes in the first half. That's one every three minutes. Thank you very much. We are about to kick off. Um, who's just come on? Elise is off and Niall Huggins is coming on. Huggins. Yeah, Niall Huggins. Uh, so that, I think, is to clear up the yellow card that Elise picked up. And I think Fulham might have been saying, let's attack down the right-hand side to get that player a second yellow. And that potentially bugs up their tactics at half-time. Like... There is a goal in the Blackburn-Birmingham game. Blackburn have now took the lead, so going from behind... To in front. Dak for Bur Bur Blackburn at the minute is absolutely on fire. He scored in like last four or five games and on a bounce. Insane. Insane in the membrane. Ah, oh, look at this. My Liverpool loving girlfriend has knitted a red and white scarf for herself. But with her permission, I put it on, and it's a Sunderland scarf today. There you go. So speaking of Liverpool fans, um, Mark? Hello. <laughs> There's Dove. It's me. It's me, a Dove lot. A Liverpool fan. Um, a Liverpool, a Liverpool's still in the FA Cup. Yeah, we beat Wolves. Oh, we could get you then, Dove. No, that will be a fun match. Well, Smack down the wolves. I think we're Smack playing tomorrow night. Yeah, we are playing tomorrow. We're playing Brighton. So I'm going to just quickly highlight this method, uh, this method, this message from uh, UK Trains and um, explain why he won't. So in the first half, at about the 25 minute mark, Ross Stewart went off with a leg injury and nobody really knows what happened. Oh, oh let me turn this back up as well. This one, uh, it's this one. There we go. We've got the audio commentary back up on the full volume. Bristol City three, West Brom nil. So their FA Cup run for um, West Brom looks like it's completely done and dusted. Oh. Brighton half one. What do you mean Brighton half one? So, yeah, no, 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 you don't have to redact it, mate. You didn't know. It's all right. I'll unpin it for now, then. Um, Stuart injury puts the shits up on Mowbray, and that's why Elise is off. No, Elise is off because he got a yellow card. Amadi Diallo has scored. No, he hasn't. It was Jack Clark. Amad Diallo can score. He's been, he's been through on goal twice. His first shot was a bit weak, and the second shot went slightly... Slightly right of the right post, um, and that was near side. It was just about precision. Oh, Abdullah Bar again. Abdullah Bar misses a third opportunity for the match. Abdullah Bar, oh, oh my dears. We look at Fulham and people say they've had good, they've had opportunities. What is it with Sunderland just not Here we go. Here, I'll, I'm going to show it for everybody just here, just so you can see why we're, we're sighing and groaning. So we're attacking it across the face of the box, one on one, bottom left of the left post. Looks like a call for Achilles for Stewart. Oh, Achilles is impossible to heal quickly. I've never known somebody he uh, like damage their Achilles heel and, and be fine like a week or even two weeks later. It takes forever because you put too much weight on it. 
foot of that new tomorrow fair enough Ash but we should be 2-0 up but I think uh, Fulham should have scored that Ballard block I do like I do like this preemptive here's what we're going to do uh, right one two three brilliant save there we go I do like this preemptive. Like, <laughs> there's some action in the game. You're gonna get, you're gonna see in a couple of seconds. Luton have uh, leveled against Grimsby. It's one-one. And a bio with a penalty. So, the Grimsby upset's not there anymore. Now picked it up on the touchline on the right on halfway, but Fulham win it back. Any other interesting scores up and down the league? Um, there's been another goal in the championship. Um, Huddersfield are now losing 1-0 to Coventry, who climbed to 13th on 38 points. Oh, that's interesting. This middle pack of the, the league table, just here. Yeah. How do I point that way? There you go. I need to re retract my arm. This pack of teams here are one game away from where we're at. So we would lose, and yeah, this pack of teams are drifting away. How Sunderland's going to do this is it's just catching Fulham on the break. That's what that's what that's what we're going to have to do. Yeah, count count or tag them. We've got to put the chances away. We cannot keep squandering these chances, not against decent opposition. I agree with that, mate. But it's also a little bit of. um all right, Gary Bennett. He's still going on his right. On the right side of the six-yard box. It's turned behind by the keeper. It's a corner. In the FA Cup, Sheffield Wednesday are losing 1-0 at home to Fleetwood. Okay. Decent effort from Sunderland getting a corner. Like you said, a counter-attacking football for Sunderland is how we're going to um, cement this lead. We are currently winning. It's not like we're frustrated or anything like that. It's so we get a corner, get a second corner. And we are Sunderland. <laughs> DJ, you, live, you said you don't live too far from Carlisle, don't you? Who lead one oh, it's not Carlisle. Well they're, well, they're winning so in League right Two away again. at Rochdale, so... Yeah, they're oh. Four in League Two. Oh. 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 Teston's only an hour and a half away from Carlisle. Is Roberts trying to prove something? Mate, if you just do, say the word only and then a time, you could get anywhere in the UK in the same day. Glasgow is only five hours away from me. <laughs> like, again from that right hand side. The ball hangs in the air, punched out by Rodak. Wonder how long it will be from Fulham to Glasgow. But... It's like two and a half hours, mate. It's not that long. Fuck it. How many corners are we having here? Middlesbrough two. What for nil? I mean, you knew that already before half time. Forest won Shrewsbury nil apparently. Oh, what a counter attack from Fulham there. That all big, big hands clearing that clear. Clearing that clear. <laughs> Yeah, look at look at this counter attack from Fulham now. Absolute world class. And done. That's here from Patterson. Brilliant. Is my pizza going to be long? He says no round. Inside to Mishu again. And now Dan Neal just Mate, these the jokes are getting worse. Dan Ballard. <laughs> Sick. Right hand side of midfield, whereas a foul on uh, Hume. 
Well done. Worth mentioning that one player he also says, uh, how do you like your steak? I says, the same yeah. way I like sex. And they said, oh, very rare then. The attendance today, 22,000. Uh, I don't know why, but that reminds me of the, you know, the movie Airplane with the little girl who says, I like my men like I like my coffee. As Son looking forward again here, with Ahmad on the right of the penalty area. He's got Robinson no behind him, that and he's going to come back to the corner. Well, this kid did in that movie. It was funny. Down goes the keeper. Oh, yeah, but it's, it's just the line. That, no, it's just it if you... Right no, you just won't say that. Clark didn't get a foot to it. It was there, the goal is no. Stick to the die die. Ballard being called to the referee with Vinicius. That and uh, that for us, Stuart, is um with the Brazilian gonna be an interesting one. We need some confirmation from medical professionals as to what that injury is gonna mean. I think the keeper had half there of his hand go. on it. It wasn't, it wasn't an easy chance right. at all. Play showed here. Amat well, spilled by in. the keeper. Yeah, and yeah he's absolutely. Got the keeper put his hand on the ball at the same time as Clark did. It. So I think sure, Gary Bennett. Some it was credit not goes to Rodak there for chance. reacting oh, as he did yeah. to try and... I'm about to re-watch it. Because I was a little bit distracted. Come again down that right-hand side. As, uh, oh, no. The, the, way spill, the way he spills this shot... It's not an easy chance, but it's definitely a chance. Their, their keeper, rapid. If that was Patterson, he would still be on the floor and then reacting a bit later. So I think that's just really good keeping from Fulham there. More than the Tunnel player not getting the better of him. Amazing. Win the league. We're going to win the league. <laughs> He's tackled by Pelinia. Gets it to Wilson. Let me just see if this has audio on it. On this right hand side, fouled by Clark. And a free kick to Fulham just inside the Sunderland half. And they've got on with it. They haven't really taken it, but it should have been taken from the hit. Diop on the right hand side, down the line again to Tete. The Dutch international. I like that because you can hear the Sunderland fans in the background. Out to Wilson on this right hand side. Wilson onto his left foot at the back of the penalty area. Call him in the call him like, we're in the league, we're in the league. <laughs> we're not even in a league match, but okay. And it's given away. And now Roberts is away. And that's inside of him. Roberts. And he's also got Clark on the left hand side. Roberts still going. Roberts at the edge of the area. Oh, he's got to the post. Jesus Christ. They do. But he's uh, been took off injured, mate. <laughs> this, this is the exact point how tight we are when Stuart's not on. Ah, yeah. oh, mate, I, I wouldn't call that shite, you know, like getting that ball when Fulham are. We're missing some chances. We're still, missing some chances. Like, it's gonna, it's gonna bite us in the proverbial. So it really, really. It's gonna pay us back this. But Right, everybody, DJ's feeling a bit negative about how Sunderland are performing right now, which means we're going to score a second, <laughs> okay? And everything is golden. I think that's a good effort. It's just not on target. He's, he's drove the ball 35, 40 yards there, mate, and he misses the, misses the net by about half a yard. I'm, yeah, I'm still, I'd much rather have him do five, six shots like that and one of them be in the back of the net than not try them at all. Ooh. Patterson, absolutely comfortable in that as well. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the 18 likes and an extra subscriber. Thank you very much. Nice. <laughs> Mate, I think we could hit we could hit 1,000 by the end of the season. That'll be insane. It's not that long when you think of it, is it? End of the season. It's four months away. That's not. Fulham have missed chances as well, just a bit. Fulham have, uh, to be fair, Fulham's chances that have been missed have been because Sunderland have been much more 
um, much more clinical uh, and resolute when when doing that defending. They've been on the line to block it. They've they've put themselves in front of the shot. Whereas Fulham, I think, are, they're holding the ball that often that they're passing it around. They're getting too comfortable, and Sunderland are closing that comfortable pass down. It could take it would give them 10, 15 passes, but the 16th. 11th, 16th pass is getting closed down and, and swept from their feet. There's a couple of 4 nils and 3 nils up and down the uh, leagues, by the way. 19 legs. Thank you, Ash. Thank you. I think, you know, from a Fulham's point of view, they cannot afford to go 2 nil down. No, they can't. They can't. I mean, that is the, the key at the moment is the next goal, isn't it? Because if Sunderland get a second... Game's ours. Fulham, Fulham are winning 2 1. Hope, dream about winning this tie. At 1 0, it's 1 1. It's fragile. It's fragile. It's no doubt about it. Do you know what's funny? Gary Bennett at the time says, what's vital is the next goal scorer. The next goal scorer is going to make all the difference in this game and we can't let them do that. I look to my left, see this fucking scoreline here and go. Fulham want it more than us, don't they? No, not really. Don't even deserve it. That's right, Joseph. They don't. I'll show you. I'll show you the goal in a second. It still isn't even on my my feed yet. Tom Carney. Here we go. Bursting down the left. He, he does ride three challenges from Sunderland there. It was a lovely goal to be fair. It's just loading up the um, where you can watch the match on your thing. I'm, I can't I don't know what's wrong. I, I think Patterson's unlucky there. I'm Kearney. Sunderland needs to score again now. To be fair, I think they probably won't. One, two... Three and he still makes the shot in the bottom left corner. Tom Kearney showing why he's Premier League quality. Bang. Yeah. We we'll we have been punished for allowing them on the ball that much. But we don't yeah. Half an hour. Oh, 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 this is coming off now. We're not winning. Sorry, Bear. Excuse me, Bear. Excuse me, Bear. Excuse me. Ah! Bear, can I get in? It's bloody jaw. Bear, move. Bear, move. Off in front court, move, dog. He's a French international. He's on low. Oh, this bloody dog. Paris Saint Germain, actually. He's got um, 13 yeah. coming on. <sighs> I can actually feel my head now. So, one, one, I mean, I did say 2-1 Sunderland. You did say 2-1 Sunderland. I said 1-0 and I thought it was going to be right. But... <laughs> We'll stick to it. Yeah, up and DJ will say, oh, we're going to lose this now. We end up proving him wrong, don't we? It's not, it's not us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you think if this game ends as it is standing now, it would be a bad thing to have a replay at the stadium alight. <laughs> Do you think it would be a bad thing or not? The the home team for Fulham, that advantage of having the crowd behind the majority of the majority of the crowd behind your team, is a huge thing. I think we might be able to watch it on a replay. Oh, two nil in the whole QPR game now. So Hull rescuing a little bit of their goal difference, becoming a little bit more respectable. Um, negative nine though now still. Premier League. I think we're third 
We've played okay, yeah. We've been a counter-attacking team. We've had the same amount of shots as uh, Fulham, but we've had literally half the amount of ball that they've had. They're more what, sorry? The mugging is off now, I bet. Not really, not really. Right, I need to help out. Hey, <laughs> you, you need to help Sorry. me. No, I need help. Okay. So, this is the mount that comes on my helmet, right? It just pops off like that. Let, do I need to look on Discord right now? Two secs. Right. Okay. So, this is the mount that comes on my helmet. Right? Yeah. It fits onto there. It's like a mount stuff on there. So, however. To the the, the thing right I just returned and didn't fit, and they're all the same fucking like, curls ball into the size. Area, so if that's not going to fit, none of them are going to fit. Hume, so the my GoPro comes with this, which is like a I don't know what it is. Roberts, it's, it's like a tapping it to Hume, like a plate with a sticky adhesive on the back. No. Hello, right? Um, I I don't know why, but my internet just disconnected. So I'm just going to make sure that my stream hasn't ended. Who are you speaking to, there, man? Dov. Yeah, no, you're still, you're good, you're I good, can you're good. Hear him. Turn them up then. <laughs> so the issue is, you've got an adhesive sticker yeah, on your new one. Yeah, stick it on top of there like that and be done with The problem with that is, with adhesive glue has been the only connection, you are... That's what I'm worried about, but... Um, it's like... to mount it. Uh, there's, uh, you could put a screw through the adhesive bit as well. So you've got a screw through the back I mean, of the helmet. The only helmet. problem with that, you won't physically go through this plate. Right, I just need to refresh this as well, because the audio commentary has gone off now as well, which is bloody brilliant. Premier League. There we go, we're back up and running. Well, a 3 nil up against QPR. <laughs> Luton a 2 1 up. At Grinsby, yeah, that, that would have been an upset if they did um, get the lead on that one. I think I'll just arrest the Huggins on this left hand side. Forwards to Barr, just kept it in. Back to Huggins. I can still see us getting a little goal. I can see Sunderland getting something from this. I do apologise if anybody popped in there and was uh, buffering. Maybe this, draw, um, maybe this draw is the result that you're on about. Like, Fulham just turning the screw a bit here. I do feel like the Ross Stewart going off injured might have been a bit of a catalyst. Yeah. But who for? It's just come off a Solomon. Why is it always look like get fucked? Yeah. On that far side, battling away is Kazawa with Robert last legs, and Kazawa plays it back. Last legs. It's a phrase I've never really heard of before today, but there you go. As much use as a chocolate fire guy. Away from Mishu. Mishu. Out it goes again. Wide on the right hand side. Oh, it's not your slip. Grimsby have leveled against uh, Luton Town. 2 2. <laughs> Luton 2, Grimsby 1. There's a lot of skinheads in Grimsby. I think there's a film. So William and Mitrovic both on now for I feel, I, I feel a little bit sorry for this field town, you know. To avoid a replay. Oh, yes. Luton 2, Grimsby 2. What? So, What's the giggle about? Just... <laughs> Give us a one, wave, Dan. Do you just... TV. Throw to... Oh! <laughs> Merry yeah. Christmas. It's going to be taken by yeah, you filthy animal. Bar on the halfway line. <laughs> he thinks he's I think, I think I'll do the wrist thing and just stick uh, and the it on. Comes up for a Where is the game to watch so Teddy Funeral? Yeah, Welcome along. It yeah, is... Just Unavailable to watch inside the UK without a um, subscription to a third party service and a VPN. Williams coming on for Fulham. William going to Fulham, is that a surprise signing? Because he was. Still nearly crept in at the foot of the post, but Patterson's down to make the save and bolted out quickly now to Ahmad on that far side. Back behind him, Hugh. <sighs> Sunderland, what are we doing to ourselves? And now down goes a lot of people on social media saying that's why you can't give a toss about these it's cup games. Fulham again. And now he, here's Tosin. He or and he plays it back onto the halfway line to Diop. Would you be say, would you be saying this if we win the final, though, mate? I don't think so. Forwards to 
Coventry are 2 0 up at Huddersfield now. It looks like. If if we won this if we won this FA Cup, would you be saying, "Oh, the FA Cup doesn't matter"? I don't think we would. Three uh, nil home. Couple of players getting up to. Yeah. Still get money for the FA Cup. Yeah, yeah, you get money for every game played. So it could help us with making uh, signing decisions and stuff like that i don't think it's a bad thing that we are level against the premier league team in the 70th minute i, I know we were in the lead for a long yeah. we we're in the lead for a long time but i would because some of the new signings would be able to um would be able to shine through and get some game time without it impacting the league. I know it's an extra game and more potential injuries, like the Ross Stewart situation, but it's more games to, to try out more things, to see what works, see what doesn't, and go from there. And if we're losing, I'd rather lose in the Cup than in the league. Two million for the winner, one million for the runner-up. That's a good player. That's a good signing. Oh, why on earth? Oh, what's his bloody name? What was his name? He's an actor, obviously. He's in love, actually. Uh, he's Ryan Gosling. No, um, he was in Bridget Jones's Diary. Colin Firth. No, the other one. Oh, I don't know what his name is. Wait. Um, Diop. I know who you mean. Is it McConaughey? No. Fuck. I'm gonna have to IMDb it, you know. Stabbed away from him. Some thoughts about Bridget Jones' diary. On the break here. Diop right in front of him. Diop. Away, Hugh Grant, yeah, Hugh Grant. Apparently 400,000 for the winner of this game. It's a big wage. That is a new player at our level. Come on, lads. There we go. I do like that you put apparently there, just to make sure. But has the Coventry goal been rescinded then? Because it says... Coventry 2-0 on on one service, but not like it still says 1-0 on. Where did Fulham sign Joffrey? It could be a metatarsal, but anyway, either way, I think we're looking at, you know... Well, they were at Scum, weren't they, Mitrovic? Yeah, yeah, he was. He played for them, like, three seasons. I, f I, I rate him as a player, you know. I think he's clinical. Um, He's just... Yeah, it just, just doesn't help that he was at the max. I mean... Fatigue, I think it is creeping in without question. But, so people can go from Sunderland to Newcastle, but they can't go from Newcastle to Sunderland. I find that really quite strange. Like, if you give me the option to say, like, um, St. Maximan would come to Sunderland, I'd take that. I don't think you would, but there's some talent there. And I don't know. He's French. He's French, though. We've got to, we've got to have the French in our team now. Yeah. <laughs> Touch yeah, but, uh, you know, because Wolves have got mainly Portuguese players. With yeah. Sunland, it's got, with Sunland, it's got to be mainly French players, I bet, in that when we're back in Prem. I th probably, yeah. I, d I don't mind that, though. Uh, you could have um, some um, like French-speaking African players as well. Like uh, Senegal and... Ivory Coast. And, yeah, um, Cameroon and stuff like that. Here's the kick. Four, there you go. Right, there you go. Fourth round winners get 120,000 according to the FA website, which is a good for a backup keeper. African players as well, yeah. There you go. I like that. There you go. 120,000 is. Yeah, like you said, a backup keeper. We were big in Kenya. Kieto from Uganda. Kieto Sefas, welcome along, buddy. Welcome. I'll be on the edge of the has been booked, and it's a free kick on the edge of the area. Is that for Sunderland or for, for Fulham? It's a nice chunk of money, yeah. I'm about to show you it. 
Danny Bath, but you know. Fulham, 18 yards out. I'm keeping an eye on Bar, really. Ah, uh, you can see why it was given. Mate, look at the fucking rules on this. It's got more rules than fucking Greg's. <laughs> Dickhead. More rules than it. <laughs> a few words in his ear, ear from Tom Kearney. There we go. Williams. You can understand why you went round, but Jesus yeah, Christ, that the, the rules. That you should be just. You should be carded for every rule you do. Here's a yellow. There's a yellow. There's a yellow. There's a yellow. You're banned for seven games. You prat. You don't see women footballers do that. You don't. You, I mean, probably it's not, but you don't see it outside of the Premier League that often either. What, rolling? Yeah, rolling. Like... You don't see it... Well, you see it in the championship. So, William, to be fair. It's just 18, 19 yards oh, out here. Peterborough 2, Portsmouth uh, 1. William, the Brazilian, or Kearney, the <laughs> Scotsman. And it's going to be William... 21 likes, thank you very much. Some mix is here. Can't have been easily sighted, but he's made the save from William. It's still Patterson one all. Patterson just looks like a... Patterson's a baby face, mate. I think he'll come off yeah. Jack Clark. Same with Luke 09. Yeah, he's like, isn't Luke 09 like 27, 28 now? And... Yeah. Hey, speaking of Luke 09, he helped. Because there were these Middlesbrough fans on the way back Change. home, Misha's and he was driving off. as well, 09, and I think in his car. That... And, the, and the Middlesbrough fans got brought down, so Luke 09 helped him. Stopped and helped him. Coming on, I'm not yeah, sure I saw that. Sure. It was like they were there for two and a half hours, something like that. Yeah, Jen. Equa's coming on. Okay, nice. Come on, Equa. F Fifteen minutes watch of. Him get, watch him get injured. No, oh. no, watch it. Watch the him get a goal, way. man. Watch him get a goal. We're like <laughs> instant Equa. Sunderland way, man. He, he stand out, clenching his hamstring, man. You know what? I reckon he should go down in the box, oh, get a get, roll seven ball. times, and get a penalty for us. Fulham. So Bennett and Equa coming on. Mishu off for. I'm guessing. Harrison Reed's coming on. So Reed, sorry, Reed's coming on. So Kearney and Bennett's coming on as well. Yeah, Reed on. So Fuller make a couple of subs and we make a couple of subs. We're on four. Every other five mid. And Fulham are on two. Sorry. Are the Russian ones? Oh, Russian subs, okay. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Got you. Uh, dogs are doing really well. Here's Bear, sleeping right by my feet. And Lola is sleeping just under there. So, um, happy with a point. What are you talking about, mate? The two managers, two head coaches. They do. 78. Man's seen into the future when you get clear up to the Premier League Marcus season. Silva Are you happy with a point? Uh, I mean, I'm happy with a replay, yeah. Probably doesn't, does he? I think we would smash him at the Stadium of Light if they put out the same squad. Yeah, having the Sunderland fans going, yeah, yeah, he'd be horrible. Diop, forwards to... I'd be, if I was a Fulham fan right now, or a Fulham player on the pitch, I'd be really disappointed as to how... how challenging they're finding a mid-table championship team. This has got to be a damage, the like, confidence damager for a Premier League team looking for Europe. Surely. Mm. A replay has to be played before the fifth round kicks off, which is in two and a half weeks. So we would have to maybe postpone our midweek game. So, yeah. We've got to play these again in two weeks. I've stuck it on the earth and I've yeah. fucking super glued the bastard. <laughs> Did you put the, you used the sticky thing and then super glued underneath I've, it? You, I've literally super glued the bottom of it and then just. <laughs> uh, you'll want to keep it away from heat for a long time. Anywhere hot, anywhere warm. It's not going to get anywhere near. Why are you always in sticky situations, Dar? Oh, because the sticky stuff. <laughs> The fucking banners getting up and stepping back up to respectable levels. Reed, <laughs> 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 
Yeah, but DJ Neil said the pizza job was run down that right wing uh. to check. But now looking for the run of Roberts. And Roberts <laughs> has got Kazawa to come past. And he's going to flick it inside down the right side of the penalty area. An like attempt to cross. No, it was, by that's quite right. And it leads to a corner, I think. <laughs> Pro yeah, throw. Pro. Oh, oh, shit. I just realised I need to get an SD card reader. Bollocks. A what card reader? SD Jew card reader. It. Back it comes here now to <laughs> Ahmad. It's to Roberts. He leaves it to Ahmad. Ahmad down the right of the penalty area. Go on. It back here, Roberts. Oh, Go on. It's blocked. Oh, oh, an oh, attempt oh. by Aqua. It's blocked. Oh, and in from oh. Neil over the top. Dan Neil's attempt. Mate, something to do not right over, considering it's Premier League. Ah, I think we're gonna win, DJ. There, well. Two half chances. I want to put on my uh, pom pom wig again. Let's go, son. Let's go. Twenty two likes. Twenty two likes. Nice. Thank you very much, everybody. Yes. <laughs> Mackums around the world. Oh my god, that effort! Look at how look at how many there's two, four, six, eight Fulham players in the box defending against us there. They're, they're on the back burner, they're wobbling here. Yeah, look. Fulham, yeah, look at this. Look how many of their players are in the box. There's loads. If you're a Fulham fan, how would you be feeling right now? This scared a little bit, yeah. Are you sure? You don't think as a Fulham fan you'd be like, oh, I think we're going to get this now. They should have had it by the... It's 82nd minute, mate. They should have had it already. I'd be scared. The winner, it would probably happen by now. No, I think that the winner could happen any any minute. It's just... If they really wanted to win it... It'd be done. Yeah, it would have been done by half-time. So as a Fulham fan, you'd be like, "Fucking hell, what's going on?" Well, they were one 0 down at half time, so the fact that Fulham are back in it is a good indicator that they want something from it. But that was just one moment of brilliance from uh, I can't remember his bloody name now. Exactly, that's how. That's how, that's how much of a player he is. What was that bet? Two one. No, it was a moment of brilliance. He broke past three defenders in our box to, uh, to get was, the goal. It was really nice, to be fair. It was a really good goal. Um, and that's that's the difference between Fulham surviving this 90 minutes and not. As everybody heads over towards the far side. Ooh, am I going to be upset? Let, let me just quickly do this. 8 or 7. Yeah, buddy. Free subs today. Thank you very much. What? Oh, okay. I thought what you said Sunderland players just get sent off. I was like, what? No. Anderson Andreas is a bringing this forward sweeps it out on the left wing looking for William Teddy. and it's put out and it's a it's throw to Sunderland yeah, man, so lead. I'm told God, that, that'd be funny though wouldn't it Rowan Atkinson just supporting Sunderland <laughs> just seeing him in the Sunderland I mean I, I think he hasn't told anybody who he supports but I think it was Hartlepool that was weird Oh my god. That's an interesting appointment. Thank you for uh, keeping us informed, ST. Uh, Wigan have appointed Sean Maloney as their new manager. Let's have a look at Sean Maloney's record. He's his managerial record. Huggins, Huggins under pressure from Deckel Deep over Reed. I'm gonna have chicken far, nuggets. Just a little bit too much of it thrown to Harrison Reed. Yeah. Now with Andreas. Andreas yes. cuts across the Do you, oh my god, voice again, half, like you've done before. Do it. And then plays it for Hibernian, 19 Tete. games, 1 6, drew 6, lost 7. The ball into the box. That's his entire record. Oh, I hate I hate it when they go. Patterson. Solid save from you know. Solomon. Great hands, being bright. What commentators? Yeah, when the commentators go. One one still. Patterson makes a save. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> what have we done to lead up to Patterson need to save? That's the thing. Did they hang a monkey uh, in British West Hartlepool? 
Yes, because they thought he was a French spy during um, the Napoleonic Wars. Yeah, I thought they were a French soldier. Yeah. Huh? yeah, Hartlepool hung a monkey because they thought it was a French soldier. Because he wasn't speaking English. The monkey wasn't speaking English, so they hung it. <laughs> That's why they're called monkey hangers. Here we go. Here's the, here's the Patterson safe. Yeah. It's just a it's so goofy, man. It's coming on. Well, that was the excuse because they didn't want to be known as the animal abuse city, did they? Come on, Sunderland. Good. That sounds like a good team. On, Enjoy. Here's a question for you. Then. Where was the first I mean, Kentucky Fried Chicken opened in the United Kingdom? Oh, KFC. No. Is it Preston? Fulham won. Sunderland won. I'm asking you. It's not 16th of July. Here's <laughs> Solomon again, rolling it into Tete in the penalty area. Here's I don't know. Headed goalwards oh. caught from Mitrovic oh. by Patterson. It, it, it is going to be Anf, we know it's, it's going to be. It's just the balloon. One, one. So, as if it's so. going to be Preston the coincidence, we're you know what I mean? Oh. Here. We're in the 87th minute. <laughs> I mean, I like how I get the answer because it's always like this really random fact about Preston. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I bet you didn't know that. Though. I did not know that, no, but I worked it out because of how you asked the question. <laughs> You're right, not bad sometimes. <laughs> Only sometimes. I'm refreshing this. Generally, we love DJ. He's a good guy. Honestly, this is a good vision. What about it, DJ? Teenager. Uh, it's all, it is all Fulham now, by the way. seven. The vegans won't be happy with you, DJ. Is there a band queue in Bre Preston? I have no idea. Uh, uh, when Preston came up, I was like, I just started laughing. Just the silence and the anthem was probably the key. No, this again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's an interesting fact, It is. B&Q. I'll beat and Is there a b and in Preston? Probably. Why? Why? Toyson up to the halfway line. <laughs> fans are trying to suck it back up the other end. DJ might a want a house in Preston. Rig. Every tackle by Rig is applauded. Oh, Rig's on the pitch. And now they win it back again. And here goes Barr down the left hand side. Old, advantage for the foul on Bennett. Barr into the penalty area. Taps it to Equa. And Equa shot yeah, takes Bristol a deflection. It's a corner. Still on corner. Rig's on. Rig's getting like when Rig touches the ball, it's like Come on. absolute celebration. Left, right, and centre. That's interesting. Birmingham have equalised against Blackburn. Sunderland fans will e suck it in. Rig, in he a um, Newcastle fan as well? Down to take the corner. Oh, please. Ahmad. We're in the 89th minute. Ahmad here on the left. Come on, Sunderland. Let's get this fucking goal. Midfield. Ahmad oof, 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 oof. Five minutes left, probably. Corner. Kiana, he's six. He's forty. He's fifteen. Has he turned sixteen like last week or something? What rig? Chris, Chrissy rig, yeah. Because didn't you say that he can't sign a contract without parental guidance from the yeah, parent, yeah, yeah, because it's an employment contract, isn't it? Eighteenth of June, two thousand and seven. He's fifteen until June eighteenth. That's mental. He's younger than me. He's 16 this year, yeah. Well, generally any 15-year-old kid is younger than you, mate. Yeah, that's how, that's how age works. Players that are 18 years 
plays it back onto the halfway line to Toysin. I think, I think either I think Toysin it's Bar that's Diop. 18. A chase for Bennett. Diop's Diop 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 yeah. Uh, I know um Bennett's 19, 20. Tapped away. Andrea's trying to put it back down to yeah. William on I think, the would Luke on nine be the oldest the or is it Goose is the oldest? Uh, Corey the Evans over, is the oldest, I think. 32. 32, right. Hartlepool 1, Colchester 2. Andreas goes Which doesn't he did like again doesn't corner. really play like he's nearly to add a time that old four minutes. still running left right and center in the center four of the park to go, just under now. It looks like it might be a 1-1 one, one draw a replay at the stadium of light in less than two weeks time Is that a bad result? And Andreas curls this in punched well headed in the air He's just. It's I'm a full in middle down, and I can see it. Right, watch your fucking screen, lads. Watch your fucking screen. Watch your screen. Watch your screen. Watch your screen. I can see it here. I can see it here. Sorry. There. So yeah, we're not worried about the replay now, are we? Are we? VAR, VAR. I take it we score. I take it we score. Yeah. It's story that would have been. It's upside. Yeah. It's got the VAR. Here we go. Here's the goal. Here's the goal. Where's the offside? Where's the offside? Actually, ah, still doing oh, yeah. yeah, he's well offside. Chris fucking Rig. Chris Rig, 15 year old. Fulham, a Premier League team, just conceded a goal. Oh, oh my days. They've conceded a goal for someone who's still popping pimples on the face. It is offside. Mate, it's clearly offside. Easy for. He is. It hasn't gone yet, Kato. It's still 1 1. Fulham having a wobbler. It's going to go to a replay. To the far post. I bet <laughs> Fulham fans were jeering when the they knew it, when it was offside. He was quite, quite and far off. <laughs> is going to play it back to the goalkeeper. We've got a minute and ten seconds left. Oh, come on, Sunderland. We've got this. How far offside was G Dong Wall? You know when he scored against Man City? Oh, it was like half a metre. It was definitely offside. But the um, but the Lino wasn't able to keep up with him, so he couldn't really tell. Unbelievable. I think Patterson's got a touch to that. Yes, but he did. Southampton is 2 1 up at the minute. Mitrovic there. Hello, Lola. This is incredible. Hello, Lola. Hello, Lola. Hello, there. Hello, there. No. Hello, Lola. They've both given the cutest of stretches here. Look at this. Oh. 15 seconds left. <laughs> Andreas. Then with this we love you, on the Lola. Side, and Ben. Uh... It's the near post. It bounces down. It's far. He's going to get this Lola. clear. And Bar comes out um, and gets it away. The game, there. I think, is done. No. Oh, don't it. No. Oh, there goes the full time whistle. What a game. It's clear 1 1, but what a cup tie. There we go. 1 1, lads. 1 1. Full time. What the fuck? <laughs> this bloody cable's not keeping still. Sorry. The fact that you've managed to put two in the net is good. Unbelievable game. That last bit at the end. I thought we'd nicked it there. Sorry, this cable is just not playing ball. For some reason. Oh my God! Stop twisting. Stay there. Thank you. No. This bloody cable. Full time. Oh my days. 
You love it. You love this angle now. Are, are you okay with this angle of my chin? Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Right. For some reason. Okay. Razor, make a cable that doesn't twist your webcam. But yeah. One one lads. One one. Is that? <laughs> yeah. And this ain't coming off. You want to do? <laughs> Wait. I don't. I don't understand why it's twisting that far. Uh, in so many ways. It's fucking wires, man. Aside, yeah. Cables are so stupid. So Shouldn't they're also like proud of really the really 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 good. Really so proud of that team as well. Oh, no. play with the there yeah, we go. That's better. Yeah. Fixed it. Moved it to the other side. Done. Right. <laughs> oh. Full time. One one. Chris Rigg with a goal for Sunderland as well. Obviously, given back his offside, but. Oh, a replay at the Stadium of Light. Ah, I'm alright with that. Yeah. I, would, I wouldn't class that as us nicking that, though, there, mate. Do I get trained? Um, yeah, mate, number 17 and number 32. Uh, it might be different on the menu. Hang on yeah, it will definitely be different, but just get those two, like, get those two what dishes. Number, number two is crispy seaweed. No, 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 number 17 and number 32. Garlic pork chop. And number 32. Sweet and sour chicken Cantonese style. There you go, get, get those two items, see what they like. I'm, I'm, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> do, you, do you not do that? Put a randomizer on one random dish on a Chinese menu and go, I'll have no, that. because I, some stuff I don't eat, like. Yeah, but you can try it. The, the variety is the spice my, of life. I usually, my, my go to Chinese is um, salt and pepper chicken and egg fried rice. Um. <laughs> Chinese meals aside, Shrewsbury Town have scored in the 98th minute against Forest Green Rovers in League One. Madness. But our game had late, late drama, but that is ridiculous. 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 How much is a dark? What? What a random question. Right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am going to end the stream there. We'll catch up and... Um, do some other oh, there you go that can go that can go um we'll do some other videos this week we have um the millwall game next saturday and the mac and football show on friday to keep an eye out on and also that early goal from clark i forgot you scored our goal there from clark so catch you on those oh, see you next time cute background <laughs> <laughs> See you next one. Oh, and transfer news. Yeah.